I was one of the few men of color in my school building. So I would often at times have students, especially my boys, come to me and call me like dad. Um, they would do it jokingly, but there was really like sincerity behind what they would say. For me, equity deals with um, a different kind of equality. It's what Dr. King used to call genuine equality, where it's about equality of opportunities. And we actually have some teachers across the, the state that we work with who are the only men of color in the entire district. So imagine that sense of isolation that you feel when you show up to work um, and there's no one else who you can relate to or you can share your experiences with. We're really trying to figure out when, how can we get men of color to support students in the school building, but how can we keep these guys invested long term? We noticed uh, that race um, is a pernicious and stubborn sort of issue in North Carolina public schools. The situations are much more pervasive and more entrenched than just mere achievement. There are people that are at least beginning to talk about it. What I haven't seen is a large scale movement to help remedy some of the issues that we've seen. And many of my kids here know my story and leave with my story. Um, I grew up in poverty. I grew up in housing, in housing projects. Um, I grew up in a single parent household. Through the bridging of our stories um, and similarities in our stories, uh, kids are able to trust me and allow me to serve as like the usher on that pathway. And I think that's important to, to have, the, the kids are able to create that corresponding bias and say, well, if this person did it, I can do it. When the Charlotte protests happened, it was just my everyday life at this point, I feel like. There's only one system, and education, criminal justice, right? Corporate America, they all operate within this one system. And everything really begins within the educational realm.